Hi, it's Keith from Home Tone Fitness and today I'm going to show you how to perform the row using the Jungle Gym XT. So this version of the row is to work our, our lats and our back in a horizontal plane of movement instead of like when we do pull-ups and chin-ups, we're going vertically. So I'll just show you how to do this. So from here, get into this position, lower ourselves gently under control, making sure that the muscles doing the work and not just letting gravity just let us drop down. And then palms facing each other, drive the elbows back behind you as far as you can go, like you're trying to hold a pencil between your shoulder blades basically. So as far as you can go, feel that contraction and then lower it back down. So the stronger we get, the more we can bring our feet all the way down as far as we can go into a pretty much a vertical row. What we do want to do in this position is we don't want to be sort of like slack with our body this way or we don't want to be hyperextending this way either. We want to keep ourselves rigid so we can tense up through the glutes and keep your core nice and tight. Again, lift up, squeeze, down, under control. Up, squeeze, down, under control. After so many reps you may start to fatigue but you can do what you call like a, a drop set by basically moving yourself backwards, taking some of that tension and resistance off and then carry on and do some more until you're completely fatigued. If you do need to sort of take a break, then you can come up and sort of like rest, pause at the top if you like, take that bit of tension off and then get going again. So what you don't want to do is be coming upright and dead upright. That's why I always see people going wrong, is they come up and then they're here and then there's no tension left on. It's all slack, there's no tension, there's no resistance. So all that time under tension's gone. We want to make sure that the body's always on a bit of an angle. So you're keeping that nice amount of time under tension going. Like I said, really feel that squeeze. You can get a really good contraction with this. Hit the lats hard. Again, any rowing movement always incorporates your biceps as well and rear delts. Even if you're finding that too easy, you could always put on maybe like a, a weighted vest. By doing that, you'd be adding more resistance. For most people, they find it's enough just their body weight alone. What I find is it's also good to sort of swap out and do things like this where we're using our own body weight, where you don't always have to just use dumbbells and barbells, like to do bent over barbell rows or dumbbell rows. It's another way that we can work our lats, just using our own resistance of our own body. So as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got some value out of it. If you'd like to subscribe and maybe smash a like, then I'd be more than grateful and I'll see you in the next one.